The more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. On behalf of Deepal International Residential School, I wholeheartedly welcome you all to the welcoming and presentation program of our beloved principal, Reverend Father Johnson Jacob C.N. and Reverend Father Vijual Kunal C.N. Life is a symbol of brightness and prosperity. As sunlight expels the darkness of mind, similarly, blessings bring in our life prosperity and happiness. To make this afternoon a blessed one, let's invoke God's blessings by kindling the land of knowledge and wisdom. For seeking the choicest blessings for the same, I invite our admirable principal, Reverend Father Johnson Jacob CM, Principal of Deepal Degree College, Reverend Dr. Baiju Anthony CM, Reverend Father Biju Alikunal CM, Financial Administrator, Reverend Father Sante Kuriyan CM, Dean of Academies, Reverend Father Peter Martin CM, and Ramana Mukti Sir to kindle the land. മഹല സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ തിരുമുഖവും തിരുപദവും തിരുപ്രഭയും തൊഴുന്നു ഞാൻ ആശ്രിത വത്സലനെ മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം Thank you. 
ഭാവത്തിൻ ജയ ഗീതം പാടും ഞാൻ തിരുനാമമഹത്വത്തിൻ ജയ ഗീതം പാടും ഞാൻ അരികിൽ അണങ്ങിയിടും ജഗദീശ്വര മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ തിരുമുഖവും തിരുപദവും തിരുപ്രഭയും തൊഴുന്നു ഞാൻ ആശ്രിത വത്സരണി മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം
leaders are made, they are not born. They are made by hard effort, which is the price which all of us must pay to achieve any goal that is worthwhile. Reverend Father Johnson Jacobs, CM, the principal. Reverend Father Vijayaskarya, CM, principal designated DBIRS. Reverend Father Baiju Anthony, CM, the principal of E. Paul Dickey College. Reverend Father Samuel Purian, CM, the financial administrator. Mr. Ramanamurthy, the senior staff who is retired from the school. Our respected sisters, teaching staff, non-teaching staff, students, and my dear friends. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. It is my pleasure and I am honored to deliver the welcome address. I am also excited and feel blessed about this role. Today, we have gathered here to welcome our new principal, Reverend Father Vijay Kariya CM, and to felicitate our dear principal, Reverend Father Johnson Jacob, who rendered his service in this institute, and to felicitate Mr. Ramamurthy, who is retired from this school. First of all, I heartily welcome Reverend Father Johnson, the principal of APIRS, who is a good leader, very bold, brave person with great ideology. It is truly an excellent opportunity for learning under his guidance. Dear Principal, you are our leader. Your endless care, guidance and support prove that you are a great leader. On behalf of everyone here, here I welcome you, dear Father. May I request we shall go to welcome Father Dear Flower. It is a matter of great, great pleasure to welcome the new principal of DPIRS, Reverend Father Mrs. Daria. He has previously worked many years as principal in different schools and has remained successful in delivering positive results. We hope that with your energy, enthusiasm, you will continue to guide us. On behalf of everyone, wholeheartedly I welcome you, dear Father. May I request to dear to welcome Father and dear Father. It is my pleasure to extend a cheerful welcome to our Father Bridge Anthony the principal of the Botanical College. He is a good leader, a very kind and very caring, energetic, compassionate and a great human being. Dear Father, your presence always makes us happy. On behalf of all gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to you, dear Father. I wish to extend a warm welcome to Reverend Father Samuel Kuriel, the Financial Administrator. He has been guiding us with his fresh thoughts and gentle behavior. Dear Father, we hope that with your knowledge, energy and continue to guide us on behalf of everyone gathered here, I welcome you, dear Father. to welcome Mr. Ramamurthy, Senior Teacher, Computer Science Department, who is retired. He has rendered his service for the last 18 years in this institute. We appreciate the time and effort that he has put into the teaching profession for 18 years. He has guided the students with his knowledge, advice, and from life experience. So, dear sir, on behalf of all gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to you. I also take this opportunity to welcome all the sisters who are part of this program. Welcome, dear sisters. 
It is a matter of great pleasure to welcome all the teaching and the non-teaching staff, students and friends to this program. Many of you have made a huge effort to join us today. On behalf of all gathered here, I extend a welcome to everyone. Everyone, thank you. Thank you, Father, and a warm welcome to you, to dear Father. The secret to success is good relationship, and good relationship is all about making the lives of your team members better. It gives me immense pleasure and honor to welcome Reverend Father Santai Korean CM to formally introduce our designated principal, Reverend Father Pichus Kheria Elokunen CM. Dear and respected fathers, our Baiju Anthony, our Johnson Jacob, our Pichus Kheria, our Peter Martin, dear sisters, dear teachers, staff members, and my dear students. A very good afternoon to one and all. I am here to introduce Father Bijus Kariya, our new principal. But the truth is that Biju does not need an introduction in DPIR's campus, as he was already here as the principal of DPIR a few years back. So most of you know him well, as you had the opportunity to work together and those who joined later also know him well as he was the second principal of this great institution who took over the responsibility of leading this institution after the transfer of Father Jos Aikara, the founder principal of DPIRS. Before I came here in June 2020, I had the privilege to work with Father Biju in Depot School, Kukunagana, Vishagaratnam for more than three years. Living with him and working with him was a wonderful experience. All of us who had the privilege to work with him or have known him appreciate him for his great love for education and learning. I think ever since he joined the school as a student in his small age, he has never stopped learning and he continues to equip himself with various degrees and qualifications. Our video is always an inspiration for the younger members of our province, especially in the matter of learning and acquiring qualifications. Now he is back here with a lot more learning and experience. I am sure all his studies, especially his religious studies like minor seminarian, Maithu, internal seminarian, global policy, philosophy, from Aquinas College, Gopalpo, theology from JDV Pune, and his secular studies like Biko at St. Philomena's College, Mysore, Enko at Fatima Mother National College, Kollam, PH from Leola College of Education, Chennai, MS in Krishna University, Andhra Pradesh, MSc Psychology in Madras University, MBA at Leola Institute of Business Administration, Chennai, his MA in English from Nagarjuna University, Andhra Pradesh, and his present Festival of Study, LLD, from Andhra University, Vishakapatnam, as well as the vast experience that he has received by working as the Vice Principal and Financial Administrator of St. Vincent's ICSC School, Kerala Gram, Vice Principal and Financial Administrator of St. Vincent's Metropolitan Higher Secondary School, Chennai, Principal of DPIR, Procurator of the Southern Indian Province of the Congregation of the Mission, and his recent service as the Principal of Depot School, Kukunagaram, Shagavatnam. All these learnings and experiences are going to be a great source of inspiration and encouragement for all of us as he takes up his new mission today as the principal of DPIR. Dear Father Biju, we are proud to have such a great person like you as our leader. We thank you and appreciate you for having taken up this responsibility. We promise you 
our sincere cooperation and we wish you all the very best for the years to come. Thank you. Thank you for the brief introduction. Carry a candle in the dark. Be a candle in the dark. Know that you are a okay faith in the dark. We now have the Andy Cover of the Candle by Reverend Father Johnson Jacob CA and the felicitation of the designated principal Reverend Father Biju Skaya and Kuru CA.
how well we fit in the place where we work. I hope, I hope to make a good team. I don't know whether all these words would ever suit to me, and I hope on also. But then, I just want to remain as one among you, not as a leader, but a teacher, one among you, and together we proceed to the goal. If that is not happening, every other qualifications, every other additional uh, phrases that we use on a person, everything else becomes valueless. Together, I believe together we can achieve many more heights or bring many more heights to this great citadel of learning. Thank you for the warm welcome that has been uh, given to me, to the fathers and all of you. And God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for your words of inspiration and enlightenment. A long reading of your life you have completed. This golden period you have always awaited. Relaxing and unwinding is all you have to do. Best wishes for your retirement. Congratulations to you. Now we have a felicitation program for our dear Murthy sir. So many schools were closed. 
and so their dedication. Actually, you see, I have seen from the bottom to top how the development has been done, the school's development has been done. And the most important thing, why I have continued 30 years here, not for money, the affection I got from them, both in Berhampur and in my school. In work, they may be strict, but they are very kind-hearted, they are very good. Because whenever difficulties comes, they are giving us moral support. All the teachers, not me. They stand behind and give you a lot of moral support so that you can come out of those things. That's what I like. That's why you can see in the emblem, when I ask it to design the emblem for the school, the logo for the school, the thought has come, like it wants to eat the world. The word has come to my mind when I have seen some fathers, their, their service actually. When they are guiding the people in different forms, they are, they are frustrated and coming to them. So, based on that only that word has come. So, what I can say? They never treated me as an employee. As long as I was there in Bharampur, which is one I was having free access with the country. That is one thing called Radhaf. Here also, I was given a lot of respect as a senior. And I never felt that this is an institution, I am working here, I am an employee like So, at last, I think everybody has to retire. So, I started my journey in, uh, you can say, 1988. I met Father Council there, All India Congregation. Then in 1997, I think it is to South India, North India. There I met him, then Father Aikara has taken me as his own staff, I was working under company, then he took me as his own staff. From there, 1990 and 2021, my journey went peacefully and many fathers helped me to establish myself in my school, that I never forget. So, the big thanks to Father Aikara who brought me here. Based on the surveys and moral support given by fathers, today I, I completely became the member of Mysore. <laughs> Mysore citizen. I got my own house here. So, as a computer professional, I got a lot of opportunities, but I like teaching from the beginning. I worked in companies around seven jobs I left for the sake of this teaching job. I know there will be no money, but respect you will get. But till now, my students are there, they are calling me, they are talking with me, they are sending messages to Facebook, or uh, you can say everything. So, overall, around 100, uh, 1500 students uh, still remembered me. All IT professionals. That is the most uh, precious gift I have got as a teacher. So that is the most important, not running after money somewhere, five is always is given more, I will leave the school and go for that. And somewhere, uh, some, wherever you will go, you will be new. Only money will come, the respect will not be there. If you are working in one organization and dedicate, work loyally, then that recognition, that respect will be there. That's what I experienced. So thank you very much for this, for your life, cooperation with you whatever has been given in these years and I promise that whenever you require you can call me I will come and work for you Thank you very much, thank you very much for the opportunity given to me Now I invite Reverend Dr. Baiju Anthony Seen to enunciate a few words about Reverend Father Johnson Jacob Seen Now I think I have to change the order Dear Father Biju Skaya, the new principal of the Paris, Father Johnson Jacob, the former principal of the Paris, Father Sanju Chakra, Sasan Jakuya, the Paris Administrator, Father Peter Martin, the director of the residence at the campus and the Dean of Studies at the International School and our respected Modi sir, the sisters, 
and their faculty members and students. It gives me great joy to be here to be with you, to join you in this celebration of becoming our new principal of the school and bidding farewell to our former principal, Father Johnson Jacob. First of all, I say before I begin to enter into my main responsibility, I wish to um, thank Muthi Sir for his kind words. I think me and, I, me and him almost uh, joined the congregation at the same time, I suppose. Almost, uh, I'm over 30, 35 years, the congregation is almost 32 years in the congregation. Very closely associated with us right from Barapur and uh, to here a close member of our congregation and our school system working very seriously with uh, many of our fathers and many teachers and other employees in the school here and as well as in Barapur. So thank you for your uh, generous contribution to our institutions and in the name of our fathers here in the name of our province, I would like to thank you so much for your generosity and your hard work and your dedication. We hope in the future, of course, as you extend your support, we'll be always looking towards you for any any help that we need, especially the tech, the field of computer science. And we wish you all the best in your future as you continue with your next path of life. Melody Betty once said, Gratitude makes sense of our past and brings peace to today and creates a vision for tomorrow. I repeat, Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Today as I start before you to talk on behalf of our Johnson, our outgoing principal of the DPRS, I am reminded of this words from Melody. Hello, where she talks about three things yes, which, is, which are contained in, in what we do when we say a gratitude towards somebody. Are you prepared, First thing is we make sense of the past. Okay, please stand up for the attention. When I make sense of the past and my association with Johnson was back to somewhere yeah, yes, 2000. Okay. He came in as a seminarian. He worked, I was his uh, rector for two years. And again, here, last three months. Okay. But I made sense for the past. And when I am able to say gratitude towards him on behalf of the management and all of you. Whether it was a seminary back in the early 20s or now, one thing that I am really fond of him is a man who works hard. Works hard at what is given. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is. What, doesn't matter what is going on outside. What others are doing. When he is given a job, he is at that job. A man who has worked hard in my experience and who is always willing to work hard. A man who has always been interested to excel, find new new avenues for work and ministry and find more and better knowledge to complete and do the work that is understood. Someone who is very jovial most of the time. I will not say 
how open that you will say as your experience. But my experience with the Johnson has been a man who is very jovial, hardworking, really to the work. Someone we can very readily entrust some work. Today, as I stand on behalf of the fathers here and you to felicitate him, having completed two years of his service as a producer of this prestigious institution. I am sure that this is what you and I all may be able to say about him, of his past. That he is a man who is hard working, a man who is committed, a man who is able to find new knowledge, new ways to get the work done, a man also has become rather technical. I'm not very good in technical this. But I ask the Johnson, he is able to give us better grasp of many things which are technical. This is all work, hard work, persistence. I like persistence, I know. When it comes to technical this, I try two times, third time I don't get, I leave it for somebody else. But in Johnson's case, he works hard. When day or night, he works hard at it and able to bring out the best out of it. Some of the qualities that are very essential for someone to be a leader. And I am 100 percent sure, with such commitment, some, such attitude, such hard work that he brought to this institution, the whole school has become what it is today. And in a special way, we as fathers and probably you as the member of the staff will be able to congratulate him and express our gratitude towards him, especially during this pandemic, to make things happen. When many of us were stranded, knowing no, not where to go and how to manage and his, his school and his academic program in the midst of pandemic to come out with the best options to make things happen and move on. It needed a lot of courage, a lot of innovation, a lot of commitment and Johnson showed that. And therefore today, on behalf of all of you and all of our fathers here, I want to express Johnson a big gratitude and thanks to him for all his work that he has done in this institution that made this institution a better one, especially during this time of pandemic. So on behalf of all of us gathered here, but Johnson, thank you so much for your dedication, hard work, and innovation. The last part of the quote I said is that gratitude also brings a sense of vision for tomorrow. It creates a vision for tomorrow. The creation of faith, that vision for tomorrow comes out of our sense of the past. What has happened in the past and what has happened today and everyone to create a vision for tomorrow. You all know, Father Jones is moving from this campus to another big and really big campus. There are more than 4,000 students studying in ICC school in Vishwishakapattam. It's not an easy task. Of course, did you, Father Bidja finish that last few years there? And Father Jones is going to take up the same forward. It's not easy. It's a different type of setup. It's not an international school. But leading a, an institution with more than a hundred teachers, more than 4,000 students is not an easy job, but it's not a fun. It needs a great ambition. And I'm sure with his experience of as a principal in Kandapuram area and here at DPRS, but also may be empowered, strong enough 
to take up that challenge at Okana uh, in Sabato, to leave the old school there to at Animal Heights. I hope and pray that he may have a wonderful time as a leader, as a principal of the school at Bukhanaram uh, and promise that we, all of us, of our staff here, the fathers and the staff, all of us, will be with you in our prayers and our support. Thank you once again and wish you all the best. Thank you, Father. Now, I welcome Reverend Father Sanjay Korean CM to felicitate Reverend Father Johnson Jacob CM on behalf of management. Again, we will be little taken aback 
seeing these guys moving onto the verandas. And then students speaking so proven English around us may just little discomfort to get adjusted with the situation. But then somehow got into the situation, got into this magical world where the figures are not simply actors but they are living ones, living together as one family and that makes me feel that I am in the right place and I am in my own house. That was the beginning of my life here and thereafter it was really wonderful to work with fathers, those who served here and gone to different parts of the world as well as those who are here working now. Dear fathers, I really feel happy and then my heart feels joy to be with you as a friend, as a co-worker and nothing more than that. You have helped me a lot to achieve something good for the well-being of this institute. Then again we have got wonderful support from the sisters community, the non-teaching staff and they are really the members for all of us. Thank you dear staff, administrative staff, teaching staff, non-teaching staff, everyone for that matter. You took me into confidence and you gave me a benefit life here. And then my dear children, although I was with you only for one year, offline, and then we continue one, one year and three months now on online, it is your company that I really enjoy and I feel happy with you. And I always felt happy with you and as you are seeking always good wisdom and good learning, you always have got a good memory in my heart. There is also my intent to thank Mordisa. Uh, just now he met me in the office, I believe, or when we were to, sitting together in Father Baidu's office. I told him, You thought that you would be leaving the institute alone, but it is not so. I will accompany you as you are retiring from here. I also will be retiring from here to another institute. So dear sir, thank you for thank you for being great source of strength for the congregation as well as for the many educational institutions, both in North India as well as in South India, and then now you cherish the goodness when your family be blessed, when your future may be blessed, and have good life again. Dear friends, coming home, coming home, I am coming home. There is a song you must have heard. There is a spiritual Christian devotional song. Tell the world that I am coming. Tell, tell the world that I am coming. Let the rain take away all suffering and pains. And then I am coming. Now, Father Baiju is back again to his home from where he has gone. And I feel that you, brothers, 
give it to the others and even the children will accept the game happily and then you will have a wonderful time with you all. I wish you all the best as he begins the second game is here in people as the main mentor, main, uh, main head of the institute. Let you have good life here and many more children may learn good from you. Thank you, dear father, and it is children here as he is, uh, as he is, what is hanging, tied, hanging, the letters of the principal also is hanging in red colors. Is not. You read that patient, caring, dedicated, inspiring, exceptional, motivating, helpful, creative, knowledgeable. As you have what so many degrees, let these values also be there with you. Thank you. Thank you, Father, and it surely was your presence. Now we have Dominic Sir, John Pinto Sir, and Rayatha Sir from our music department with a farewell song.
and Stevenson have participated in the 2021 Incentive Summer Program of DePaul University Chicago precisely for Catholic students of Vincentian's families from all over the world held from June 28th to 16th July. Now I request our principal, Reverend Father Vito Alekunan CA, to grant the other certificate of participation. Congratulations, Liam, and thank you, Father. Next, I would like to welcome Mr. Susan Matthew for delivering a word of gratitude on behalf of all our staff members. Who is our principal? Who is our principal? Nobody knows who. So, when we entered the hall, the principal was Father Reverend Father Johnson J. But, but when we are leaving this hall, it's Reverend Father Vijay. So, very good afternoon and good evening to the dignitaries on the dais, my colleagues and my students. Words cannot begin to describe how thankful we are for the work you do as a principal. You are the glue that keeps us together, your ability to empathize with our students, and constant belief in the staff inspires us all to love new things. Never forget how amazing you are and how much of a difference you have made at this institution. I feel very privileged to facilitate a speech for our beloved Reverend Father Johnson J. U. C. You love with every teaching, non teaching, staff, and students. When we were preparing for this uh, ceremony, um, after the meeting uh, with the fathers and went back, so we were thinking about that. So that time I received how, I am mean, telling about how a non teaching staff uh, loves him, means how much I love he, she or he had received from the father. So she called me and uh, said, What is the presentation you are going to do? I told her, yeah, Normally we have a room for the staff club, so and so, so and so. Then she said, I think he told me that. Uh, do you remember that uh, two birthdays we have not given in the big room? We didn't celebrate two birthdays, consequently. <laughs> so she reminded me, uh, they were okay man, what we can do. I asked her suggestion, okay. So you know, why can't you, you know, escape out of the world, but you like it, okay. I spoke to, immediately, I called from the Santa Korean, I explained this is the situation for me. Then we can do it better. That is the main thing. So I took the consent of Father Santa also, Father Santa giving them uh, in the right uh, direction. Uh, so the person who asked the question, so this is, we are going to present it on behalf of the staff. So this is all the neat section of the people, those who work in our institution housing. Father Johnson has marked a great journey in TPRS. During this pandemic, Father has worked very hard. Father Johnson, uh, Father Biju, Father Mighty was telling us, he works very hard. He didn't get us idle. As you should know, to me, he told me he started our school, whether it is offline or online. We were online and so So he kept the pace of the academics for us with a great devotion. A simplicity creates the a selfless service to this institution. He has looked equally upon everyone. It's my pleasure to describe his excellent nature and caring behavior. He always being a healthy hand for the people who are in need. I would like to thank you very much for your prayers, moral support, and assistance during my illness. So not only for Father, including you people, because of the location I got to thank you because after that meeting we together, in this way. Thank you for the extended family members. You people are that. You people are that. So the Bible states that in Matthew 6, 8, your father knows what you need before he was me. That is the character of Father Johnson. Yes. Dear Father, you will always be an inspiration to every teacher and student, but your impression will always be in our heart. 
there is endless goals for you and people never for you to be grateful and well be to be grateful i know you are very proud in your life for all the kindness you have been to the teaching as well as non teaching and the students thank you very much for Thank you, sir. Now I call upon our student representative, Ms. Dia Mary Sebastian, to give a word of gratitude to our beloved father, Johnson Jacob Sia. A great leader knows the way, shows the way, and leads the way. And some of them, like you, Father Johnson, hold a very special place in our hearts. Good evening to everyone present here today. It is with a heavy heart that I stand before you. to bid farewell to our beloved principal Reverend Father Johnson Jacob Sia in a short span of 2 years you showed us what a real leader looks like and have been the pillar of strength for our institution thank you for guiding us and for always doing what's best to keep our institution moving forward we deeply admire your ability to take wise decisions especially during the pandemic by keeping in mind what's best for everyone in our Nepal family under your care we have reached greater heights and we will always cherish all the good moments you have gifted us and will never let all the good things you have done for our institution slip out of our mind dear father you inspire us to dream big to be compassionate and to always do good no matter what By your compassionate nature, able leadership, and great vision, you have touched many lives in our Nepal community. Thank you so much for bringing joy and for making our lives beautiful in these two years. Words cannot express how grateful we are to have had you as our principal, and we know that your light will continue to shine forth wherever you go. We will miss your presence in amidst us. And we wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Dia. To speak gratitude is courteous and pleasant. To enact gratitude is generous and noble. But to leave gratitude is to touch heaven. Lastly, I would like to call upon Mr. Sundaram for delivering the vote of thanks. Good afternoon, Mahanandal Prasundo here. On behalf of staff of DPS, I once again welcome Father Vidyush Kariya, Lieutenant Sayyid, to be here with us for his second meetings in Nepal. Firstly, I would like to thank Father Vidyush for coming here to guide us once again and lead us to take this DPS to a greater height. Thank you, Father. So, it was a short journey, and that too in the half of the time went on in distance mode. Father Johnson, Jacob, always provided us the great support and inspired us a lot. Literally, for any program from starting the planning stage to the execution part, he sat with us at each level, and he has. Helped us and guided us towards the success of that program. Any program for that matter. Thank you, Father, and we will be really missing this type of guidance from you. I also take this opportunity to thank Father Baidu and the new CEO, Principal Deepak Dehri College, Father Santa Ekuri, Financial Administration, Deepak International Financial School. For the Peter Marni Dean of Studies, Deepal International Distinction School, for their constant support and also their assistance for provided for this particular program and also the general program that are in this occurring in this institution. At this time, I also take opportunity to thank the SPB of Deepal, whom we will be missing, Mr. Ramana Murthy, who has. A long history in this Bihar International School, and also generally with the Bihar family. He has helped 
us in a lot of way whenever we need he has not hesitated to help us thank you sir for your support i would like to thank all the staff of pbas both teaching and non teaching staff for their wonderful presence and the words and their presence over here lastly i thank all the technical non technical administrative staff of pbas for joining us in this occasion thank you all have a nice day thank you sir Everything that has a beginning has an end. With this saying by the great Buddha, we would like to bring the program to an end. Thanks for being a wonderful audience. Thank you. Thank you all. Kindly rise for the national anthem. Jana Jana Mana Adhinayak Jaya Hai Bharat Bhag.